Hello everyone. Um, good morning. It is morning and I did not brush my teeth yet, so hopefully there's no toast in there. I usually brush my teeth as soon as I eat, but I wanted to run in here while the dog was being quiet. But anyway, I'm going to make this probably a short little um, vlog. Excuse my morning mess here. Like I said, it's morning. So I look a little rough. Yeah, I do. Good morning, everyone. It is Leslie Sky. I'm back. Back with my Kendall. Um, this is the, uh, I always get the name wrong. It's the, the latest version, the e-reader. Absolutely love it. Today, I'm going to talk about, we can't really see it, what's in here, which is some writings from Irma Bombeck. <clears throat> Excuse me, one of my favorite, favorite all-time writers, authors, Irma Bombeck. Absolutely adore Irma Bombeck. Love her. Miss her. In this box holds a bunch of her books, my collection. And I just wanted to show you really quickly. Okay, what started all for me was a book called... <laughs> is it in here? Where is it? The grass is always greener or the septic tank. If you never heard of Irma Bombeck, where have you been? If you've never heard of Irma Bombeck, you have to read this book first. They made this into a movie. I watch this movie, as my friend Tori, over and over and over and over again. I could still watch it. Oh my god, I love it. Irma Bombeck, you can, well, I can, I can so relate to her. What I love about her, many, many things I love about her, is she's so relatable. Her comedy was everyday stuff we could all relate to, basically. And I was hooked on her. I just absolutely love, love her, her sense of humor, her charm, her spirit. Um, she's very inspirational. Um, so anyways, I just want to go through a quick little all-time favorite book. My father is the one, actually, I found out about, my hair is so, like, all over the place. My father, <coughs> excuse me, back in the day, way back in the day, um, his sister introduced him to Irma Bombeck, and then through my dad, I learned about Irma Bombeck. This is the book that started off, which was one of my favorite movies still to this day. It stars Carol Burnett. She's awesome in that movie. Um, here's another book. My book collection. Like I said, she's so relatable. I have two copies, I think, of this one. And if postage wasn't so much, I would probably have a contest and uh, draw, like, the other book I have and send it to somebody. Maybe in the future I could do that. Excuse me. A toast. But, um... I haven't had all my coffee yet. I mean, it, it just, I love, I love, I love. And this was special. She wrote um, for cancer survivors, for can people with cancer. She did have cancer at one time, I, if I remember right. So that was really sweet of her to do. Um, here's another book. Like I said, so relatable. <coughs> um, let's see. Two copies of that one? I think this was the second book that I was introduced to after the famous The Grass is Always Green Over the Subject Tank. I think in life you have to have a sense of humor. I know myself, I can't go through a day without laughing at myself. I will say stuff and I'll be like, that was pretty clever, Les. You have to do, well that's my, how I get through <laughs> on those hard days. We all have them, Lord knows. Um, I think, oh, I have another book somewhere, too. But anyway, this is part of my um, Irma Bombeck book collection. Um, I still haven't read every single, you know, to be honest, book through yet, but working on it. Um, right now, I've got it, like I said, i got a couple of hers on the Kindle, the e-reader. And um, I wonder if I could show y'all. <laughs> and my dog's going to come in here. Well, maybe I'll show you that later. But anyways, if you've never checked her out, please go check out Irma Bombeck. She is, like, fantastic. I miss her. I wish she was still with us all. Um, I love her sense of humor. 
laughter really is the, the best medicine. And there's Bella. So anybody, everybody, go out, have a great day. I'm going to have my coffee now. Um, I just wanted to talk about stuff I love. Um, and that's, I love comedy, I love laughter, and I love her, her books and everything, you know. Um, that has to do with uh, laughter and, yeah. So take care, find something to laugh, and laugh at yourself. We should. We should laugh at ourselves. It, it, we get, it gets us through life. So take care and enjoy the holiday season, if you will. And I'm going to go grab my coffee and give Bella a hug. Bye for now.